The visual world of the Tudors was created through the imagination, artistry, talent, and experience of the production design team led by Tom Conroy. You want to get a balance between the opulence of a king and the gritty reality of the period. The on-screen look, of course, was of paramount importance to us. We always say when we're in television, we're always trying to create an event program, and that was the idea here. It looks to me as rich and as deep as a piece of cinema rather than television. You could say we're making three movies, three three-hour movies. That's an awful lot of work, and for it all to be good quality it takes a lot out of people. We started with people who had vast experience, like Tom Conroy, who's our production designer, Joan Bergen, who does the costumes, and a myriad of other people. Palace of Illusions, what do you think? It's incredible, Your Majesty. It's only painted canvas. Sketches, illustrations, models, and detailed production storyboards were used to plan every shot. The approach to starting with just doing a lot of research and spent a lot of time in England because there's quite a few contemporary castles. So I visited as many of those as I could. The production team created several massive sets in order to recapture the feel and look of King Henry's life at Whitehall Palace. Whitehall is a big composite set of about eight or nine rooms and a great big hall. We wanted to get a sense of the scale and importance of the place. We have parts which are Gothic, and it goes into the more Tudor areas and Tudor arches and typical Tudor details. And then in his throne room, it's more beginning the very early influences of the Renaissance coming to England. Every detail in the production is accounted for, including the props, furniture, and lighting. The Tudor period is rather stark, it's austere. We'd use a lot of candlelight and we'd use a lot of fires to actually give it that kind of warm feeling. We had hundreds and hundreds of candles. We were not completely true to the period in the sense that we took a little dramatic license by pushing it a little bit forward. My view of the whole thing would be that we're not archaeologists, we're designers, and we're trying to tell a story. Your Eminence has built the most beautiful palace. Thank you, Majesty. For the exteriors, the production was filmed on location in Ireland and at the Ardmore Studios. The great advantage of being based at Ardmore Studios is because it's between an urban and a rural environment. What there is here, medieval buildings, great landscapes, landscapes that could pass for France as much as England. We've been fantastically fortunate to have these within range of the studio. We sit just a little south of Dublin, but we have the Garden of Ireland literally next door to us. And it's a very beautiful area. And we wanted a sense of space, I suppose, particularly when we got into those exterior looks with gardens. And we couldn't be in a better place. But at the same time, we needed churches. We needed interiors of the period. Ireland isn't that rich in Tudor architecture, but we found the interiors here to be very compelling and they're only a stone's throw from the studio. We were very well placed to capitalize both on the exterior look and then the interior look. Have you any idea of the cost of this production? Most people who come here and they look at the costumes and they look at the sets and they say, my God, how did you do it for the money? And we just did it because I think we had the skills and we were lucky that all of those people wanted to work on this production. This is a very large-scale production. It's got very large-scale effects. It's got huge scenes in it. It's got huge sets. Tom has been imaginative, extraordinarily inventive. I think for a designer to work on a Tudor period, it doesn't come up that often and it's a wonderful opportunity to work on something of that period, the scale and with such good writing. Every setup, every thing that's been designed, every set that I walk on has taken my breath away.